Deadly Dames and this is this week's pickup video. So I've actually been very good again and not bought much. Um, always surprise myself when I do that. Um, so the first movie that I picked up this week was Totally Out of Season. This is a movie that I really wanted to see over the Christmas period but I think it only came out for two nights and the nights it came out um, Claire was really not well. She had the cold so we happened to miss them. Uh, sorry, to miss the two nights it came out and um, it took me by surprise this movie took a little twist that I didn't expect at all and really really enjoyed this one um, it felt really strange watching a Christmas movie around like at springtime but it was totally worth watching it and that was a uh, better watch out I really enjoyed it and if you haven't seen it I would recommend watching it I think it's a shame that it has come out at this time of year because I think a lot of people won't pick it up purely and simply because it is a Christmas movie that's come out at springtime but it is a movie I would recommend watching so that was the first one that I picked up. And then my one and only movie that I got from the Arrow sale. And that is The uh, Incredible Shrinking Man. Again, I surprised myself with only buying one movie from the Arrow sale. There was a couple of other films that I thought about getting. But I went, I re we recently redecorated the hall. And moved one of the bookcases from the hall into the bedroom. And I'm totally going off topic here. But it meant that I had to reallocate, like remove all of my Arrow movies from one bookcase well one position of try that again move all of my Arrow movies from that bookcase in the hall into the bedroom and I was looking at the titles and I realised there's so many that I haven't watched and it kind of made me think why am I buying more when I haven't watched some of the ones that I already have and that is the reason why I only picked up one so that's basically taking a long story making it short and I've seen this movie before, it's a fantastic film and I just really wanted to watch it on Blu-ray and see if um, Arrow did it justice and I think I'm going to try and get through a lot of the movies and I know I say this, I'm like a broken record saying this over and over again but I really want to try and get through my to be watch pile and obviously Horrorcon's coming up and I want to try and get the Horrorcon so that I thought one, it's really hard to say that I really want to start trying to watch a lot of those films and, and just trying to get through all of that. There's no point in just keep picking up titles when I'm not watching them. And that's really my main focus at the moment and then trying to do reviews in them. Plus, you know what? The weather's actually nice in Scotland and I want to try and get outside and see some of it. And that's uh, the reason why, another reason why I've not picked up that much. So yes, um, my one and only title from the Arrow video sale is The Incredible Shrinking Man. Went off topic completely there. Uh, this is a title that I've actually had on pre-order from HMV forever, it feels like. And it's from Severon. And that is a... I'm probably going to say the title of this wrong, but is it Baskin? Or Baskin? I've heard really good things about it. I've actually not, as you can see, opened it yet. I've not had a chance to watch it. It sounds really interesting, quite disturbing. If anybody's seen it, let me know what you think about it. But I've just not had a chance to watch it yet. But I'm looking forward to giving it a go. Hopefully I'll get to watch it this weekend. And that's uh, Baskin. And then the last thing literally just came through the door, and don't judge me on this, I am a girl, which means I'm allowed to enjoy chick flicks. And I did pick up the 40th anniversary of Grease 1 and 2, well it's Grease 1, but it comes with Grease 2 in this edition. It's a steel book. I just, I like Grease, and I, I actually like Grease 2, and I remember when myself and my sister were younger, we had a VHS recorded off TV of both of these movies. And because we were recorded off TV, we actually had the ending of Grease 2 missing. So for years, my sister and I made up what the ending of Grease 2 was. And I can safely tell you that our ending was better. And when we finally got to see the end of it, we were like, is that it? So yeah, our ending of Grease 2 was way, way better than what the actual ending is. We're totally disappointed when we finally got to see it. But because I've seen this film so many times, I still like it. So yes, don't judge me. I am a, a woman. Uh, I do like Grease and uh, I had to go for the 40th anniversary steelbook. I can get rid of my really crappy DVD now. But yeah, I only picked up four things. Totally took me by surprise watching this, so I would recommend Better Watch Out. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's everything I picked up this week. Hopefully you, you liked the things I picked up. If there's anything you want to chat about, let me, let me know. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and take care.